mind your English. No? In many instances, this is a quote from the Supreme Court report on the conduct of the 2014 bar examinations. In many instances, incorrect English is more serious a problem than the lack of precise knowledge of law and has been the cause of high failure rates. Iyan ay totoo, lalo na kung hindi maintindihan, sabi ko nga sa inyo, nung examiner, what you are trying to say. No? So kaya nga ako, kahit na, you know, kahit na napakabagal ko na, no, I took time no, to read it and read it and read it again until I, you know, I make sense of it. Kasi gusto ko mabigyan siya kahit papaano, kahit two points man lang or three points man lang, no? I don't want to give a zero. Hindi ko gusto yon Hindi ako magsisiro. Pag na-zero ka sa akin, ibig sabihin your answer is really, you know, is really out of this world. I'm sorry to say, okay? Okay, let's go to the next slide. Pero alam nyo, hindi naman ako mapaghanap. Kaya nung nag-check ako ng mga booklets, it doesn't matter kung wrong grammar ka. It doesn't matter kung nakapast tense ka na dapat present tense. Wala, wala sa akin yung pati mga spelling, wala rin yan sa akin. No? I did not consider any of those. But in law school, my students will tell you no na even if my subjects are all remedial law, when I correct their exams, when I correct their booklets, I will always check those things. no And I will always put notes. no But I will not knock numbers or points from them. no I just wanted them to, I just want them every time to be aware no para i-correct nila yung sarili nila. Okay, is there a proper way or technique in answering bar questions answer only what is being asked of course no do not write unduly long answers no do not assume nor add to the facts which are given and always cite the legal basis of your answer and i have here do not abandon your common sense no uh, later on i'll go back to that okay let's go to the next slide please i explain this further Ito, this is very important do not skip questions if you feel you must put a check mark on the numbers of questions you have already answered so it will be easy for you to see which numbers still remain unanswered. Kailangan nakikita mo every time, ilan pa ba hindi ko nasasagot? Kasi you are managing your time. You have to be very conscious of, of your time o, uh, as, the, as the hour progresses. No? And ito ang observation ko ha, yung mga students, examinees na nag-skip ng numbers, hindi na nila nabalikan. Okay? So, so nawala na sila ng answer. So definitely zero na yun. Wala akong magagawa doon. Kaya yan ang advice ko sa inyo. Do not skip. If you must skip, then mark it as uh, mark, mark it para alam mo na you need to go back if you have not answered it yet. Okay? Let's go to the next slide. Okay, your answer should appear sequentially following the given order of the questions. Do not make the examiner go from one page then jump to the end to find your answer to the next question. Then go back again for the succeeding uh, questions. The exam is not an Easter egg hunt, no? Kasi ganyan ang nangyari sa akin, no? In some, in some booklets, no? Yung answer sa question number one, you know, it's there. But yung question number two, wala doon. Ang kasunod is question number three. So I had to look for question number two. No, so mahirap yon. Please, please, no? Uh, uh, do not do that. Kasi baka yung examiner hindi niya ma-follow yung sequence ng pagsagot mo, no? baka akala niya yung susunod is not question 3 but question 2 so but, you know these things can happen and that might lead you to, to, to be not given the proper the proper grades or the proper scores okay let's go to the next slide please Okay, eto, do not cite legal provisions or rules by number or section, no? Like do not you do not have to say like under article uh, 36 of the family code, no? Hindi kailangan, no? Uh, hindi yun required. Ang importante, ma-communicate mo dun sa sagot, through your answer, yung yung tamang sagot, no? Ano ba yung nilalaman ng article 36 ng family code, no? Kasi ang problema diyan pag nagsasay pa tayo ng legal provision or minsan jurisprudence, no? Sasabihin natin in the case of um in the case of uh, Neri versus Senate Committee, no? So, pero uh, hindi naman pala yun yung tamang jurisprudence, okay? Or hindi naman pala yun yung tamang tamang uh, article number nung nung, nung provision. So, so mas mas ano yon, 'di ba? Mas ma-turn off sa yung exam, yung examiner. Although of course, the examiner should read the answer in its entirety and take it in context. Pero hindi mo na kasi kailangan gawin yun. Baka you will spend time pa, waste your time trying to remember ano nga yung citation na yun, ano nga yung article number niyan sa civil code, no? So, that is useless, no? So, more important, more important is for you to be able to express your answer clearly and concisely, completely, no? And citing the legal provision by number will not make it complete, no? Especially if the, if the provision that you cite is wrong, okay? Let's go to the next slide, please. So do not give more than one answer or alternative answers. Yan. If there is a general rule and an exception, then cite the general rule first, then the exception, and then clearly answer if the situation falls either under the general rule or the exception. No, so ang dami ko na encounter ganito, no? So may tanong do, dun sa dun sa rem, may tanong. Tapos ang ang sagot sa akin, uh, he can do this. Tapos or he can do that. Tapos may pangatipa. Or if he chooses, he can also do this, no? So so ako ang sasagot sa tanong hindi pala siya, no? So so do not do that, please. Do not do that. Always start with a definitive answer to the question. Yan ang hinihingi sa inyo ng examiner. Yan ang unang-una namin hinahanap. Give your definitive answer, yes, no, no? And then you reason out after you give your definitive answer, okay? Let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, that's it. No, give your direct answer to the question in the first line, then reason out in the succeeding lines. As legal basis, always observe the hierarchy, divide constitution at the very top if applicable, then the law or statute, rules or regulations, and then jurisprudence. Do not cite books or annotations written by 
experts or authorities. Kung meron kang constitution, kung meron kang law, kung meron kang jurisprudence, you do not need to cite yung experts. So do not answer me or do not answer your bar exam question by saying, well, uh, the the noted author, uh, Dean so-and-so, said in his book, I'm not interested in what the, the noted author said. I'm interested in what you in what you think. Okay? All right. Let's go to the next slide. Keep your answer short. Ito, many ask me, how long should the answer be? No? And kanina, uh, I think um, D. Marisol was telling you no? how, how, how some examiners have to you know, quest, uh, answer the questions uh, really, really fast. No? So, so ito lang, one page should be the maximum for me. Yeah, na, that, this is my suggestion. And then one paragraph naman seems too short and too rushed. No? Parang feeling ng examiner doon. Teka muna, hindi binigyan ng masyadong attention no? itong sagot na to. And then two paragraphs should be ideal. No? But, pero yung one paragraph mo na yun, if it's a long paragraph naman, na nandun na lahat ng components, okay din yun. It depends really also on the length, no? But please, as much as possible, do not exceed one page of the booklet. Okay, all right. Next, let's go to the next slide. I think I have five minutes left, no? Do not repeat the question in your answer. But if there is more than one question, ask in one number. Clearly refer to the question you are answering. For example, by its given number or letter, like to be in answer to to be, or if there is no such designation, then state a description. Say in answer to the question about default, etc., etc. Okay. Next, please. Be conscious of the time. Always check the time. I told you this. No, uh, manage how much time you have. No, by answering first the questions you are confident of the answers to, and uh, of those left unanswered, prioritize the questions with bigger points. If you feel na hindi na talaga kaya yung oras mo, so sagutan mo muna yung mga questions with bigger points. No? It's up to you what bar review sessions you want to attend. No, want to attend. No, ito tinatanong din sa akin, ma'am. Sana ko magre-review. Anong suggestion niyo? If you are confident with your grasp of the subject matter, there's no need to attend the review sessions. However, it is recommended to attend updates, okay, on jurisprudence and pre-week lectures like me. I attended my pre-week lectures uh, uh, dun sa subjects na I felt I needed it, no? Pero yung iba naman, uh, I thought that my time was better used at home reviewing on my own. No? So bahala ka diyan, okay? Next, please. Sometimes reading your books and reviewers will be more efficient, as I said, no, than attending the lecture. Okay, consider this when choosing which review center you want to enroll in, or if you need to enroll at all. No, extra gastos pa kailangan mo ba talaga yan, di ba? All right, next please. Para naging fad lang kasi, no, para na insecure ka kasi lahat ng kaibigan mo nag-enroll sila, no. Do not be pressured by that. You know yourself best. Okay, what material should you read? Less is more, no. Sinabi natin ni Dean Marisol earlier, no. Decide which materials to read and stick to them. Better to master a few than to cover too many and not understand them well, no. Master the law. Okay, master the law, not the material. Okay, do not master the Bernas Primer, master the constitutional principles that are discussed there. Okay, let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, enjoy. I don't know. Can you enjoy your bar review? No, during your bar review, think about this. You can do whatever you want to do. Walang klase, walang pasok, di ba? Walang oras, bahala ka, no? You can be in pambahay all the time and no one will care, no? So there will be no recitations, walang nakakatakot ng mga exam until the day of the bar exam, no? And you can hang out now in your favorite coffee shops, no? If the situation already permits. But right now, I advise against it, okay? So you have control of your time. But do take care of yourself. Dr. Clemenia told us how important it is to be uh, to be uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, and socially stable. Okay, let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, so learn to relax and never compare your pace and progress with your friends. No, I hated it. Like I told you, when people told me, uh, uh, they are, uh, you know, they are finished with this and that subject. Okay, so better, better not to talk to people like that. Avoid them from for the time being, because uh, you know we all have our own study habits. We are all different. No, let's go to the next slide, please. And then, do your best and God will do the rest. I believe that, honestly. no. Pray a lot. Trust that God will always take care of you and everything beyond con your control as long as He sees that you have done your best. And always remember, when you are doubting yourself, when you are doubting if you can still go on no, and, and carry on and face the pressure and everything, always remember why you want to be a lawyer. Always go back to your first day in law school and the reason why you went at all. Thank you. I hope you find some useful tips here. And see you all in MOA. <laughs>